the great gospel of John, revealed from the Lord through the inner word to Jacob Lorber. Volume 6, Chapter 230 Jesus describes the Trinity in God and man. The Lord says, However, what you will hear now, for the time being, keep for yourselves, and do not make me known before the right time. When the right time will come, you will be informed by my Spirit, which is the actual Holy Spirit. The Father, I as Son, and the Holy Spirit are distinguishable one and the same from eternity. The Father in me is the everlasting love, and as such, the primordial reason and the actual primordial substance of all things, which fills the whole of eternity. I, as the Son, am the light and wisdom, which goes forth from the fire of everlasting love. This mighty light is the everlasting, most perfect self-consciousness and the brightest self-recognition of God, and is the everlasting Word in God, through which everything there is has been created. But to do all this also requires the almighty will of God, which is the Holy Spirit in God, through whom these works and creatures are to be fully realized. The Holy Spirit is the great pronounced word, it shall be, and it is what the love and wisdom in God have decided. And see, all this is now present in me, the love, the wisdom, and the power, and therefore there only exists one God. And this is me, and I only have taken on a body here to reveal myself better to you people of this earth, who I have created to my likeness, in your personality, as it is the case right now. That you also have exactly the same trilogy in you as I myself will be shown to you in absolute clarity. See, every person has love in himself, and according to such love, also a will since love in itself is a desire and longing, and in this desire and longing lies the actual will. This is a property of all plants and animals, and in a certain way also of all other matter. Even the most uneducated and coarsest person possesses love and will. But what does he do with it? He satisfies only the lowest and most physical needs, which instinctively translates from his raw love to his will, from which his mind obtains nothing else than a dark haze. Look at the works of such people, if they are not many times worse than those produced by animals, whose love and desire is guided by a higher influence. However, it is completely different with the love and its will of those people whose mind has become a bright light. It penetrates the love, its wisdom, and thereby the whole person. Only then does love provide the pure means when the light or wisdom orders it, and the will turns it into action. Because man, as the likeness of God, also has such ability in himself, does he also consist of three people, or is he only one person? Said all, and especially the old disciples. We thank you, O Lord, that you have spoken so clearly since this is not always your way to speak and teach. Only now we fully understand the total unity of God, and as such, you are entirely God, how we envision it quite often in our mind. 